The five whys is one of the most common techniques in combination with the fishbone diagram. It was originally developed and used by Sakichi Toyota in the 1930s. It has since spread through many different facets of business. The 5Y technique is just that, a technique that allows you to drill down to what is actually happening. In addition to how simple the technique is to use, it is also remarkably effective. As suggested by the name, the five whys are performed by asking why five times. It is oftentimes used in root cause analysis or cause and effect analysis. One of the limitations of the five whys is that it depends largely on the context of how you ask your why questions and can oftentimes lead a user down narrow paths. This can be negated by using tools such as a cause map or process map in combination with the 5Y method. So how do we perform a 5Y analysis? One of the most important things to keep in mind when you are performing a 5Y analysis is that you are able to see the issue firsthand or gather sufficient information from someone who has or was present during the issue you're analyzing. Without this critical element of a 5Y analysis, the context of your questions can lead you down paths that may not be in the direction of the root cause. With this in mind, first gather a group of people or meet with somebody who has information with regards to your analysis topic. Once you have the appropriate information for your analysis, we're ready to begin. You can use the why steps to make the process a little easier. We'll begin with what is the problem? First define what the problem is by answering the basic question, what is the problem? As we alluded to earlier on, try to observe the problem firsthand. You may need to recreate the issue you are trying to solve or observe the Gemba for a little bit. As an aside, you may want to use a whiteboard, jamboard, paper and pencil, or some other means of defining the problem so that it is up and visible for everyone to review and update. This will give you the ability to dig into the many different directions that your analysis will take you. Let's use an example to help us understand this technique a little better. The problem we will dig into is, we got caught speeding. Now that we have defined a problem we want to address, in our case, we got caught speeding, we can begin drilling from the first initial symptom towards the root cause. To do this, we will have our team answer the question why five times. Let's continue with our example. In the first level of causation, we will ask, why did you get caught speeding? At this point, it is necessary for us to mention that there will always be many different answers. You will need to discuss with your team and decide on the most relevant ones. In our case, that might look like, I was driving too fast because I was running late for work. We then continue by thoughtfully considering the context and position of our level of causation and ask why four more times. In our example, it may look something like, why were you running late for work? I woke up late. Why did you wake up late? My alarm clock did not go off. Why did your alarm clock not go off? The batteries were dead. Why were the batteries dead? There was no signal for me to see when to replace the batteries. As you can see, the final answer would offset or negate the effects that happen in the previous levels of causation. As a reminder, the context of your questioning is critical when asking your questions. It is sometimes not possible to ask why so directly. With this in mind, it will take some experience to master this technique. Next, we move on to the final phase of the why method, Yokoten. The term Yokoten refers to the sharing, learning, and teaching of best practices laterally throughout an organization. 
Once the team has consensus on what they feel the root cause is, it needs to be shared. Not only does the regular practice of Yokoten make everyone aware, but it also can help facilitate countermeasures for the fifth Y. And that's it. Three simple high-level steps for conducting a 5Y analysis. This overview should get you started. As you gain more experience and use the 5Ys in daily practice, you will surely develop techniques that will help you hone your skills in root cause analysis. If not, just ask, why?